for people that aren't super familiar with your story, can you give a little back, bit of backstory and you know how you got essentially into the music industry? And I know that you're uh, originally from Peru, so how you know you, what made you decide to make that trip over from Peru to America? All the different things. So I'd love to hear your story. Yeah, man. So uh, I'm a mixing engineer. I am originally from uh, Lima, which is the capital of Peru. I, like a lot of engineers that I know, started uh, with music when I was like you know a teenager. I was like playing guitar, and I was like playing in bands. So by the time I finished high school, I didn't really know what to uh, do, but I had to go to uni because, you know, parents yeah. parents wanted to, of course. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll get into music school. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in music school, but I was like, that's what I've been doing for the last few years, just like playing music and like, I guess I'll figure it out. So I went to music school. I met a friend who's who's a great friend of mine um and he was recording it was like the very early stages of music school so we like didn't know anything but like he was like recording his guitar through like a little like uh you know m box or whatever <laughs> and i was like i just thought that was just like the coolest thing in the world because i had never had any sort of interaction with engineering or recording or anything so i was like that's dope so i paid him to give me lessons every Saturday. So he would teach me Pro Tools for a couple of hours. Now, but by the time that we got into some production classes at school, which was like like two years later. Really? So you went I to music school like, and then even into two years into the music school, it took like to get to the production part of it. Yeah, because it was like a very like, you know, general music school. So I was taking like guitar classes because that was my instrument, but I, I was taking like composition and like orchestration and like sure. lots of stuff. Yeah. So when we got to uh, the production classes, I had already been recording just like, you know, friends and like my band and my house. Like I, I got an inbox, I got a Mac, I got like a couple of speakers. So I think at that point I was like, all right, this is, this is what I want to do like seriously. So I evaluated because in Peru, the, the, the undergrads are five years. So I was like, is it worth it for me to stay here for another five years? Just sort of like learning a, a lot of good stuff, but like stuff that in the end I probably won't use like advanced orchestration, composition and that stuff. Or should I sort of like just drop out and maybe move to a different school? So that was when I had a conversation with my parents and I was like, listen, this is what I want to do. There's not really like a vast industry in Peru and there is no, you know, specialized engineering schools. And I could go the route of just self-learning, but I really want to have like a proper education. So I started evaluating options and then, you know, at the end I decided to go to Full Sail University in Orlando, Florida. And that was a big move. Because I wasn't just leaving home for the first time to go to college. I was leaving my country. I was leaving my family. I was leaving my friends. I was leaving my culture. And I had just turned 20. So I was like a little bit scared for sure. Yeah, for but sure, um, man. I did it. And I, I moved to Orlando. And, you know, even besides any of like the professional or like the engineering stuff, just like have just like doing that move and having to face the world on my own just made me grow up like as a human being you know as a person sure just have to take care of yourself and deal with your own stuff and not having you know mom and dad to solve anything for you just like it's really like a big like shock at the beginning but i feel like that's where when we really like mature you know so anyway i went to school did two years of school it's a pretty short program first of all i decided where i wanted to go I wanted to, I decided I wanted to go to New York City. Hmm. To me, it, it's really like, you know, LA or New York, uh, Atlanta, Nashville, Miami, if you are like into like, you know, specific genres. But I was like, all right, for me, really, it's like LA or New York. LA is too close to Florida in terms of weather, and I'm done with the sun for a while. <laughs> so let me, let me try New York, you know? For sure. Um, I relate to that very much so. As a, as, as a native born New Yorker, I relate to that very much so. Exactly. So I had just started dating this girl at the time, um, who was actually now my wife, eight years later. She was like, I'm also going to go to New York and try it out. Like we she, we, we met at school. She's also like an, an engineer. So we rented like a, like a budget truck 
and like load up like our college bedrooms and just like drove straight like 22 hours or something just straight to new york we had like rented an apartment we got in and then i had been sending resumes we had both been sending resumes to like different studios in the city she wanted to do mastering plot twist my wife is a master engineer at Sterling <laughs> sound for sure uh, shout out to sterling sound had some great interviews with sterling yeah. sound people shout out to sterling uh that's like our second family mm. so anyway i had i had landed an internship at uh, electric lady studios which was funny because i had literally emailed every single studio like in the city or in brooklyn and nobody replied to me but electric lady and electric lady was one of those where like that's probably like too big a studio like i'm just sending it just you know just to see what happens but i was really aiming to like towards a smaller studio and the only one that replied was electric lady the I had only an one and yeah 